Hello, beautiful people. Hope so you're all having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. So in this amazing day, we are going to print smallest array in C++ on Visual Studio 2017. First of all, we will make the program, then we will dry run the program. First of all, hash include is the preprocessor directive. Preprocessor directive always starts with hash. However, iOS stream, input output stream is a predefined library. Using namespace saves us from writing std before every line. Our, however, our answer returns to main function with data type int. In order to put list of values, we will use loop, like I'll, I told you before in the first array lecture. We have to declare value, declare array of size 100, it can be anything, so declaring array. We, I only want to print to get three values from the user and find the ascending order of this. Uh, actually, I, we are finding the ascending order. And uh, from this ascending, I will teach you how to make descending smallest value, largest value. Okay, so move ahead. It's moving like uh, if the first value finds any value uh, greater than s on, then we will reverse position of both. If condi this condition proves true, then the value would be saved in another variable, could be anything. Also, we are using the formula of reverse. And uh, to show the values in descending order, we are using this loop of size 3 again. So in this loop, we increments value, for example, in the series, uh, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We are moving, forward. let's run this program first. 
I take 22, 44, and 33. Then it will be showed up in the 22 in the ascending order mean from smallest to largest. Uh, if I just five. Five, three, uh, four, three, two, one. Then it will be printed as one, two, three, four, five in ascending order. So let's write on this program. Our program is this. <coughs> Our series is, for example, let's take five, four, three, two, one. First of all, in this loop, we will take five. Okay. Then by this condition, we will check this five with other four numbers, which are four, three, two, one. First of all, uh, if we find any number uh, smaller than five, then we will reverse their values. For example, first of all, we uh, find four less than five, then we will reverse their value. Condition becomes true again. We'll move in the loop. If we find anything smaller than five, we find three. Reverse the value. For, uh, condition again true. Again, it becomes smaller than two, and you can see the result. And until it will reach to the last point, and condition will become false. Due to this loop, the value will be incremented. Uh, Yes, there will be next position will be checked. Uh, so in the next position, we have four, for example. It will check the all values for four and can the uh, loop will run for all these values. You can see that right on. So due to this loop, again, the next position value will be checked and uh, we'll dry run for all these for three, for example, and so. So the, due to these condition, uh, you can see in the end, we will get the ascending value. So with a little change in this program, we can change this program into descending order. For example, I comment this program and copy here below. So uh, if I just change this greater than sign into Smaller than sign, uh, smaller than sign, then what we get is this. For example, let's take one, two, three. Or I will I'm doing descending order okay four five it will be printed in descending order and here is the dry run for descending order for example let this is our series one two three four five if we find any value greater than uh, the value present at that position then their value will be re reversed and will keep on reversing itself until the condition of five four three two one is reached okay uh, now you know that uh, in the descending order from uh, greater to smaller in the descending order the last value uh, will be the smallest of the series so if we remove a loop here then what we get let's see we got an error yes <laughs> so we have to declare i outside the for loop in order to remove the error let, now let's see for example the condition is five four three three one and four we should get the lowest value 
or highest value, I mean to say. So we got five, which is the highest among all the series. Okay. So now change the program. Now we will get the lowest value. Now let's see. I'll write the three, two, one, four, five. I'll get I should get one actually. So we got one, the smallest value of the series. So hope so you like the tutorial. If you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, to test your knowledge of C++, uh, you have an app, C++ Programming Quiz. And for Java student, here's an other app, Core Java Quiz. Link of both apps would be in comment section. Uh, if you like material, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Like always, peace.